Hey guys, this is Wiz. Another exciting week in Destiny 2. We have a new video out with lots of information for Beyond Light. And in case you haven't watched it, I will leave a link in the description. But for our usual weekly reset, let's get into it. Today is October 27th, 2020. Let's go over what is there for us to do in Destiny 2. First, in the main tower area, we still have Ava Levante for another week. So you still have time to check out some of her bounties and get yourself some more bright dust and some loot that you can dismantle for legendary shards if you don't want them. And don't forget you can also get powerful and pinnacle level rewards by running the Haunted Forest. Also, check out the vendors in the tower, especially if you need to try to save some bounties for the next season. However, my suggestion, if you are going to hoard bounties, do not keep the weekly bounties because if you do, you will hurt yourself when it comes to power level for next season. According to Bungie, if you hang on to weekly bounties for Shax or Zivala, for instance, you will only get rewards for season 11, which will be lower compared to next season. And you don't want that. Same thing goes for the Drifter, so be careful with holding on to bounties for next season. Now, if you are still after some pinnacle level rewards for season 11, do the weekly 3 strikes for the Vanguard, the 3 Gambit matches for the Drifter, and the 4 Crucible matches for Lord Shaq. You know the deal by now. You can also take a run at the Prophecy Dungeon in the Tower Directory for some pinnacle level rewards. Hey, you never know what you might get. Now, in the Annex area, through the Prismatic Recaster, you can do the weekly means to an end quest for some pinnacle level rewards as well. And since you next to the drifter, you might as well pick up some of his bounties and play some gambit then get yourself some loot. And when you complete the drifter's weekly bounties, you also get bright dust just like for Zivala and Shax. Now let's check out the Nightfall the ordeal. So you got a few of them you can try but the regular one you can do the Lake of the Shadows Nightfall and you can get your pinnacle gear as well as your powerful gear but for the green master you also have a few of them you can check all a matter of fact you get all of them you can check especially if you are trying to get the conqueror title so take your chance there all of them are available for you to do is from the looks of it then uh, do your thing now for legacy nightfall we have exodus crashed if you do the exodus crash you'll get the impact velocity sparrow and you also have the arms dealer and you get the tilt fuse sparrow and we have the scarlet kip this one you don't have no special reward for doing it but all the other ones you know you'll get some kind of rewards for doing them so take your chance there now let's check out the moon now on the moon you have the nightmare hunt you've had the first one we have despair we also have insanity and we have anguish so you do all those for your powerful gear and if you do the master difficulty you'll get some pinnacle gear and don't forget you can also do the pit of heresy there the dungeon for some pinnacle gear there as well and you have the polo given there the, at swords harbor that you can get some legendary gear there for yourself now if you were still interested in uh, doing the menagerie you know you go down there and you have the regular one and for the regular one, you have Arc Singe, Blackout, and Grenadier. And for the heroic version, you have Extinguished, Grenadier, Famine, and Solar Singe. Get yourself some legendary gear for doing that. And also, to get the Hive Mards, you can get there. Now, if you were trying to do the Flashpoint, go to the EDZ, do some activities there, and you'll get yourself some powerful gear by doing some of those activities there. Now, as far as the contact public events for the means one in quest, you know that you can do it here. Just do your thing right there and you'll get your powerful gear as well as when you complete the interference mission, you will get your pinnacle gear. At the Eververse store on the front page, you got the shader Skelly Gall. Now onto the Bright Dose page.
Well, guys, this is it for today. I hope you found something you're looking for or something to do. Then I will see you guys later.